we live in a culture where everybody wants to find a magic pill or a magic diet or some kind of modality or invention um, instrument or technology that will help the body get healthier, leaner, stronger, more beautiful. There is nothing safer and more effective than water introduced into the intestine to make that happen. And it's interesting because it's, it's sort of the last thing that most people want to do. They think, oh, I don't want to do that. That sounds kind of strange. It sounds kind of foreign. Um, it sounds maybe a little bit intrusive or invasive, but it's the simplest, safest thing you can possibly do. All you're doing is putting water in a place where water is most needed. The large intestine, the colon, is so dry and so impacted in most people, and all that needs to happen is that waste matter that's dry and impacted in there needs to get reconstituted, needs to get wet, it needs to be saturated in water, and then it will become kinetic. You see, the colon can't move unless the waste is moist. The drier your intestine becomes, the more constipated you'll become. The less inclined waste will be to move through this, this organ that is supposed to remove waste. How can it do it if the organ itself, the tissues of the organ itself, are covered over in impacted waste matter? It can't. And the tissues, not only on the surface of the colon, are impacted, but they're impacted deep in the colon tissues itself, the layers and layers and layers of the tissue of the colon. So with all this waste preventing the colon from actually operating properly, the peristalsis, the muscular contractions that are required to move waste out, are stuck, suppressed, incapable of removing the waste that they're designed to remove. Again, because this waste was never intended for the human body to begin with. 